Hello, what is it? Welcome to the Miracle Sword, because I suppose gaming equals awesome. I'm Lawmaster DLC 7 and 9. And I am still in the process of escorting Cinnam Plumble Plumble however you say her name, that name right there on the screen, to the uh, Old Dedra Shrine. I feel like things have timed out. Store fatigue. Super ridiculous intelligence. What if I skip? Wait, what? 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 Where's my fortify thing? Wait, 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 okay. Oh, fortify attribute is, is okay, so my uh, fortify strength and willpower and stuff is hidden somewhere underneath underneath all of this. <laughs> so, okay, that, that's the moon star. Okay, so, okay, so yeah. Uh, restore health. And restore magicka. There we go. Okay. Okay, so now continuing to head north for for the uh all dead droth thingamadoodle like thingy. And the old bleh. You will suffer great. Yes, she hates the slaughterfish. She hates them with a passion. <sighs> hey, wait for me. Well, if if you would not try to kill the slaughterfish every five seconds, I wouldn't have to wait for you. Hey, wait for me. If you could run faster, I would not have to wait for you. Okay, things had better not have respawned. Okay, so we're gonna go around this way. Hey, wait for me. Well, go faster. Yep, yeah, we have dead rat. See, I took care of all the disease for you. Okay, wait for her to catch up. See, see more disease. That's that's all dead and everything. Yep. So we're gonna go into here. You with me? Yeah, you're with me. Ah, there's a wall on my face. I'm stuck. Uh, stuck on a candle. It's a sticky candle. Still with me? Okay. Still with me? Oh. You're as bad as Drakethus, always always falling behind. You don't know Drakethus. He's from another game. Okay, so th is this the... Is this it? Ah! Journal updated. I said I would accompany you, Lord Master, to see if you had made all Dedroth safe for the Achimosa. You have fulfilled your my conditions. Thank you, Lord Master. The Achimosa shall be saved. And if you wish, I shall now I shall now name you I now I shall name you Naravarine of the Achimosa. <coughs> you have made this place safe for the Achimosa, and so I name you Achimosa Naravarine, war leader of the Achimosa and protector of the people. I also give you the Madstone of the Achimosa. Which shall be a sign to all Dunma that you are the Naravarine, and that the Akimusa shall follow you in all things, even unto death, until the enemy is defeated, or until you are dead. Ah, gee, thanks. Uh, now I can stay only briefly. Soon I must return to Akimusa camp and make preparations to remain okay. here. General updated. Madstone, the Akimusa had to return. Okay, goodbye. Tab. What's this Madstone look like? Sound. Do I wear it? Do I do I wear it? I don't I don't know. I don't know if I wear it. But let's F five that. Under sun and sky, Outlander, we greet you warmly. Uh huh. And now I believe I go on to the uh, Zainab camp because that's nearby as well. I think. And have another quest of the Zainab. Oh yeah, and I have to keep an eye out. For the white guar, which I'll probably never find, because you know needle in a haystack kind of thing. Okay, it's so, oh tap. Yeah, the Zainab camp is there. Uh, so basically, go south. Basically, go basically go south. Yes. <clears throat> no, we have. Can I get it from here? As long as it doesn't move. Don't move. Don't move. Ah, I gotcha! 
Okay, so going south through the water, through all the slaughterfish. And you know, I had to say that that was actually quite an enjoyable quest. I mean, even though it was it had the same basic format of a fetch quest, which I hate, you know, of, of go here, make a thing happen, then come back. Even though I hate that, that was actually quite enjoyable. Enjoyable because once I got there, I was like. You know, you have this thing to do, and you can do it however you want. You know, I could have straight up killed the crazy lady. Or I could have pled the case. Uh, I don't know how that would have gone. I, mean, I, I, I just kind of decided I, I would threaten her and see what happened. Worst case scenario. You know, what am I stuck on? You know, worst case scenario. You know, she'd get angry and try to kill me, and I'd have to kill her anyway. Uh, quest done. Yeah, you know, you know I, I could have cleared out all the ordinators if I felt like it, but I didn't feel like it. But that was an option. And that was, uh, interesting thing, interesting thing. You know, with the choice that I made, I, I I really didn't have to clear out all the all the crazy people either. And that that was quite interesting. I'm stuck on everything. Mm. Okay, can I actually get up on land somewhere? Can I? The, the, the slaughterfish are kind of annoying. <clears throat> can I get up on this? Can I get up on this? Can I jump hacks up my way? Can I? Uh, no. Almost. A little bit. No. Nope, can't do that. Uh, okay. Can I go this way? Uh, almost. Um, nope. Nope, I'm not making it. I'm not making it. I'm sliding all the way down. Hi, Metroid. I know it's a Betty Netch. Okay, how close am I? Okay, so the next thing should be mainland. Yes. Maybe. Have I been over here? Maybe? What the? Wow. You made a really glitchy sound. Okay, so... Mainland should be over here. Yes. Somewhere in the fog. Hmm. You can go more this way, right? Yeah, I think that's mainland. Yeah. And we have more slaughterfish, of course. Why does slaughterfish have to be everywhere? You're annoying. At least my luck is high enough that they're not actually hitting me. And thus, my restore health is kind of redundant. Redundant in it. In it. Well, we, have, we, have, we have loot over there. Loot that's so expensive that nobody can buy it. In other words, useless loot. Okay, finally away from the slaughterfish. Where am I now? I need to go more straight southy. Uh, let's let's stay away from the thing. Let's, let's go up, go up. Go ahead, jump axing, jump axing, jump axing, jump axing, jump axing. It's not working. Okay. No, I want up. I want up. I want away from the coastline. No, up. Up. No, up. Thank you, map designers, for doing that. Okay, where, where am I going? I'm going the wrong way. Uh, still sliding? Really? Okay, we have a road. Hmm. Uh, well, this is actually quite boring out here. Oh, well, well, okay, we have a thing. We have an annoying thing. Okay. Uh, yep, nowhere near the thing that I'm heading toward. So much walking. 
so much more. I, I really miss fast travel in here. Yep, I knew it. I knew it. Can I, can I jump hacks? Nope. Not really. No. So I need to find my way around. And I, I'm still sliding down. I know I could just levitate. I feel like I shouldn't have to levitate. I should not have to levitate over everything. Oh, that—that that is a place. I'm going the wrong. Way. I'm still going the wrong way. Ah, oh, it is so easy to get turned around. Here we have. What is? What is that? A little, a little conical thingy. What? Somebody said a thing. Mm-hmm. Okay, we have a Kaguti. Uh-huh. What is this? Tomos Dungeon. Well, I, I don't want to go in there. I want to go to the Zainab camp. Is it all the signs? Tomos and Vos. Nope. It's more like this way. Which way? Okay, it's more like straight up south now. Ah, another Kaguti. Okay, now, now we're getting into the annoying thing. Oh, just stay back because it might be diseased. Yeah, blighted. Oh, that's right. I'm, I'm immune to disease now. Because I'm, I'm, the, I'm the thing with the corpus. I'm the corpus sovereign. That made no sense. <laughs> oh, oh, bandit camp. Yeah, they're going to be annoying. So let's stay away from them. We have a Buzzy Beetle over here. Go away, Buzzy Beetle. Okay, I'm getting closer. I'm getting closer. I may get there before the end of the episode. Maybe. We have... Okay, so that's just a rock. Whoa, that just popped in out of nowhere. Neshwulft Ruins. I might stuck on a thing. Okay, so we have a thing over there. We have a Winged Twilight, also known as a Harpy Lady. Okay. Just a Harpy Lady, kind of just out in the middle of nowhere. No, don't get distracted. I mean, th that looks interesting, but don't get distracted. Where am I going? Uh, okay, I'm pointing mostly in the right direction. Okay. Yeah, that, that looks interesting. Where's this camp? Where is the camp? Where is the camp? I'm looking for a camp. Next sound. Okay, I should be right on top of it. I should be right on top of it. I should be right on top of it. Where? What is? Oh, next sound. First one was like, is that a skinny centaur? Ah, oh, here we have the camp. See you away. I'm going to F5 finding the camp. Okay. So now we talk to more people. Hi, people. Zaba. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What was, what was, uh... 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 House of Red Run, Delina Men, uh... Truck Brother. Uh... Uh... But come here, sleep is awake. Oh yeah, well, while I was uh, doing the uh, potion stocking up thing, apparently the sleepers are attacking now. Me. Uh, let's see, program, uh, trade mission to the Zainab. So I am trying to establish trade links with the Zainab. Tunis Tathan Thinilan, chief of the master and in the master regard. Trying to visit the Zainab camp and find out what goods the tribe would be interested in trading for. When I determine what goes the tribe would be interested, I'll report back to Teresa for a payment of a hundred drakes. Journal close. Okay, so trading. Is that okay? Uh, you you ask us about the trade goods? What among the uh, We are just the women. No one listens to us, but since you ask, we will tell you what we think. Okay, uh, okay, so trade goods wanted. We Zainab make everything we need. We do not need things from outsiders. But, 
Our men get common diseases and blight diseases when they go out hunting or tending the herds. They are sometimes gone for long times and cannot return all the way back to camp to be cured by the wise woman. Uh, the settled people make the bottle magics that cure common diseases and blight diseases, but the Zainab are often in short supply of these things. Such bottled magics might be the uh, trade goods we would want. Ah, okay. And now the Nerevarine. <laughs> you are not letters, so it is not proper that we should speak with you about this. Uh, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm the Nerevarine. Um, okay. So do I do, do the do I do the thing that I did before? Just, just talk to the Galukans? Kumo's your what's a Kumo? Nobody. That's who. Okay. And that's a thing. Are are you a Galukan? Nerevarine. No, I'm not talking about it. About it. Uh, okay, so apparently I need to find the Galukans. Or the wise lady. Okay, last time the, the Galukans were, were this sort of thingy. Ashibar. Nerevarine. You're an outlander, not proper to thing. Yes, outlander. What do you want? A thing that you won't tell me about. Over here. Minasur. Minasur, yeah. Minasur. Nerevarine. Uh, not proper. Yes, Outlander. Ashkan. You have a neat hat. Is there I'm something just... I can do for okay, you? You're just really short. Okay. I feel like things down here have timed out. Ah, uh, so you're the lawmaster, the outlander who claims to fulfill the Nerevarine prophecies. You are welcome to our hospitality, outlander, but you must tell us, how can an outlander be the Nerevarine? We have heard the rumors. We know we know you to be the outlander who claims to fulfill the Nerevarine prophecies, but how can an outlander be the Nerevarine? You must admit. That just sounds silly. You seem pleasant enough and strong and hearty for an outlander, but excuse me if I'm not disposed to take your demands seriously. Okay, journal updated. J. If I can improve his suspicion toward me, he might take me more seriously. Close. First of all, are things still thinking? Yeah, things are still thinking. Okay, well, let's F5 this. Uh, improving his disposition. Admire? Oh, okay. I shall honor our friendship, too. Uh, Nevereen. We have heard the rumors. We know you to be the outlander who claims to fulfill the Nevereen run. But teach us, Lawmaster, how could an outlander be the Nevereen? Uh, tell a story and show proofs and ask. Oh, oh, excuse me. Do not think me rude, but seriously, do you believe this story yourself? I mean, no offense, but you must admit, you're an outlander and completely ignorant of our ways. How could you ever be our war leader? What sensible Ashkan would ever choose you to be to lead the tribes? Ho, ho. I could ask or I could persuade. Well, I'm pretty lucky right now, so I, I, could I persuade? Sky's above. If talk or wealth, you can make me rich. Don't you ever get tired of talking. Okay, he wants me to do a thing. Okay, so, and then asked his thing. Very well, a vampire named Cal Calvario has taken refuge in, in nearby Narano Ancestral Dome. If you're as worthy as you say you are, it should be a small matter for you to dispose of this vampire. There, you have your task. Now, perhaps you would leave me in peace for a bit? In other words, shut up and do stuff. Okay, wait, uh, where, where is the thing? To the north. But you're a stranger and may get lost. Listen, go west from our camp until you reach the mountain. Then turn north and follow the mountains, keeping them to your left. When you pass the ruins in the Shruft, keep your eyes to the east, looking for an entrance flanked by two trees on the western slope of a hill in the center of the Graceland. That will be Nerano Ancestral Tomb. Where is that? Well, you couldn't just mark it on a map. Map. The Shruft. So, somewhere that way ish Okay, we're going to F5 this. Okay, so on to kill a vampire. 
Yay! Will I get the vampirism? Probably not, because I'm immune to diseases. So, where am I? Okay, I need to go more like this, I think. Well, he said go west, and then go north. Keeping the keeping the mountains to my... something... tree. Keep me the mind your left. Okay, journal clips. Keep me the mountains to my left. Oh, no, the mountains are on the left, kind of. I'm gonna give a C out just in case I get attacked. Yep, yeah, mountains to my left. Mountains to my left. Mountains are still to my left. Getting stuck on stuff. See, I feel like there should be something inside that. Okay, here we have Nschluft. And I need a thing that's flanked by two trees. To the east. Keeping my eyes to the east. Well, I mean, here we have two trees, right? Oh, here we have an Ataxia guy. Hi, I totally missed. Totally missed again. There we go. Okay, so th this path is flanked by two trees. So let's follow this path. Where does it go? Probably the wrong direction. I feel like I'm in the wrong place. Oh, we have uh, bandits. Well, they both attacked me. I resisted Magicka. Okay. And on to find the thing that I'm looking for. T to the east, right? Uh, maybe I didn't go far enough. No, J. J. Tum. And you passed the ruins in the Schluft. Okay, so I should have passed them. And then kept my eyes to the east. Okay, so let's go back. Go past the thing. And then look east. Right? But, I mean, you have to admit, those were two trees. Those were two trees. So, let's see. Okay, that's another tree, right? Athletics is up. Okay, so here we have an, another two trees, and here we have a thingy. Okay. So here we have two trees. Is that a white guar? Oh, my luck, I probably killed the white guar. Okay, I don't think this is it. That's a wild war. I mean, uh, cave thingy flanked by two trees. We have plenty of trees. Sort of. <sighs> I mean, we, we, we are now... We are repassing. We are repassing the Shuluft. There we have two trees. Uh, tab. Local. Nothing in this area. Nothing at all. Okay. So do I just keep going north? Ish? I mean, I mean, those are two trees, and here we, here we have more trees. We have a lot of trees. Are you a white guar? You're a wild guar. I, I was inside his mouth for a second. I don't know how I feel about that. Wait, ooh, ooh, no, that's a rock. Oh, 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 that's not a rock. And that, that over there is a thing that's going to want to kill me. Yeah, gotcha. Oh, okay, is this the, the Nerano, Nerano, the thingy that I can't remember? Nerano Ancestral Tom. Okay, and I have 13 seconds remaining, so I'm going to call that the end of this episode. Don't forget to participate in the poll up in the upper right. Ooh, the moves, you know.
Yep. I'm going to take a moment to talk about astronomy. See, we, we can see the, the, the big moon is farther away than that moon. And, and by the way, by the way, that moon is either, it has to be closer, right? But even if we're the size of the Earth's moon, it, it's going to be super, super close. If it were the size of Earth's moon, it, would gotta be, it has to be super, super close. And um, here's the thing. Even, even if it's the size of Earth's moon and super close, or smaller and even closer, this thing is still huge and even farther away, which means it's even huger than it appears, which means it's even more massive. Possibly more... This could be massive enough to be an entire planet. So, so is this like a double planet system? With, with I mean... Well, unless this does like a figure eight kind of thing, orbiting around both of them, but that that's just highly unstable and would likely smack into something else. Wait, wait, what? Is that is this one moving faster than the, the Bethesda? Bethesda. This one is farther away than that one, so it should be orbiting slower, but it looks like it's orbiting faster. Bethesda. Learn your astrophysics. Learn your astrophysics. Anyway, don't forget to participate in the poll up in the upper right. Let me know what I should do in the Season 2 of Play the Character. Why is it fading out? And don't forget to like and comment. And It's fading out. What is it? It's, it's in something's shadow. And it vanished entirely? Bethesda. Bethesda. No. No. No, that doesn't happen. That doesn't happen. That does not happen. I, I, I just lost all believability or, or sense of... I, I can no longer suspend my... Okay. I, <laughs> it, it has been many episodes since I've been able to suspend my disbelief for this game. But th that... That... No. And I think this moon is starting to do the same thing. I think this one's starting to fade out as well. That's just stupid. Uh, anyways, uh, like, comment, and, and let me know what you think and what I should improve upon and things like that. And don't forget that uh, gaming is intellectual exercise. <sighs> like trying to figure out why an entire moon slash planet could disappear. And, and yeah, there, there it goes. There it goes. There it goes. It's, it's vanishing. <clears throat> And if uh, that sounds like something that interests you, you would like to see more of, or you would like to support, then I highly encourage you to subscribe. Subscribing is completely free. And apparently we are completely free of moons now because look, look, no moons. No moons. They both, they, but they both vanished right in front of our eyes. <sighs> Bethesda. Bethesda. I guess they assumed nobody would look up. Uh, but anyway, anyway, subscribe free and, you know, why wouldn't you? Because it's free. And in the next episode, I'm going to go in here and do a thing for the thing. And then we're going to do stuff. And yeah, it's all going to happen. And I will see you then.